And, um, and the president, he's saying a lot of things that are disturbing me because he's calling us stupid. And it's okay, you know, to... No, it's not. What am I saying? It's not okay. He's calling us stupid. Well, I think we are stupid because <laughs> as, after you're done with this clip and some of this other stuff, he apparently told us a bunch of stuff in 2008 that we believed. Yeah, yeah. Like, and yeah. then, so, so he must conclude that we're idiots. You could take that to the bank. About That's it anyway. right. Well, here's a stupid is a stupid does number one. That is just not an acceptable approach. And if we think it's going to be hard, if we think it's hard now, Imagine how these guys are going to be thinking uh, six months from now in the middle of election season when they're all up. Uh, it's not going to get e easier. It's going to get harder. So we might as well do it now. Uh, pull off the Band-Aid. Eat our peas. <laughs> but then did you see that he has this new, f new face he makes? And it comes right after this. Here. Uh, you know, now's the time to do it. And he does hmm. And he moves his, he jerks his head forward. Have you seen this? It's this new thing. It's like, now's uh, the time to do it. I didn't pick up on it. Oh, yeah. It's it's a very weird thing he's doing. I'm not sure I like it. Huh. I have to now have to start looking for it. Um, then he said a couple other things. Like, uh, this was my favorite. Remember the, the job saved or created? When this was part of the stimulus, you know, we've saved or created, and then we were saying the whole time, what the hell does a saved job mean? And they, you know, and then they kind of like, well, you know, whatever. And that never really got explained. And then they turned back uh, as to, you know, uh, Austin Goolsby even. Goon Goolsby was saying, well, we created two million jobs, two million jobs with the stimulus. So here's the president in the same press conference saying that the stimulus was great, because we, uh, and he's going to say saved jobs, uh, and now that that money's gone, uh, the jobs are being lost again. Uh, in other words, it just, it did nothing other than, you know, just we just paid some people to work and then the work went away. It, it, now here it is. Our biggest priority as an administration is getting the economy back on track and putting people back to work. Uh, now, you know, without relitigating the past, I am absolutely convinced, and the vast majority of economy, uh, economists are convinced, that the steps we took in the Recovery Act saved millions of people their jobs. Saved millions of people their jobs. Didn't create them. In fact... Or created a whole bunch of jobs. <laughs> a whole bunch. Hey, John, how'd that stimulus do? What'd that created do for a whole bunch of jobs. A whole bunch of jobs. What it's, does that mean? 10? 15? <laughs> a bunch. Isn't there a definition for bunch? Isn't a bunch like, you know... 30 or something? What's a bunch of roses? 12? 24? <laughs> and part of the evidence of that is, as you see what happens with the Recovery Act phasing out. You know, when I came into office uh, and yeah. budgets were hemorrhaging at the state level, part of the Recovery Act was giving states help so they wouldn't have to lay off teachers, police officers, firefighters. As we've seen... That how about bureaucrats? <laughs> hey, hey, oh, we get to that. Hey, how about laying off bureaucrats and all these people in the TSA, which we'll get to later. Oh, yeah. For states diminish, you've seen the biggest job losses in the public sector. Oh, okay. So in other words, uh, now that the money's all spent, the jobs that we, uh, those bunch of jobs we created, uh, they're going away. Okay. So in other words, it was didn't work. But John, you and I, we are too stupid. I mean, we, we have much, we have more important stuff to think about than to try and understand what all of this means. The latest CBS News poll showed that only 24% of Americans said you should raise the debt limit to avoid an economic catastrophe. There are still 69% who oppose raising the debt limit. So is it the problem that you and others have failed to convince the American people that we have a crisis here? And how are you going to change well, that? Well, let me distinguish between professional politicians oh. and uh, the, the public at large. Oh, John, professional politicians and the public at large. You're too stupid to understand uh, what this means. Uh, you know, the public is not paying close attention to the ins and outs of how uh, a treasury auction goes. No. No, we're too dumb. I mean, the word treasury, how can we even understand it? Uh, they shouldn't. They're worrying about their family. They're worrying about their jobs. Yeah. They're worrying about uh, their neighborhood. 
Uh, they've got a lot of other things on their <laughs> There are entire weeks that go by that I don't worry about my neighborhood. Seriously. <laughs> but you know what I this is all worry about the neighborhood forever. You know what this is all about. This is uh, just getting by my American dream. That's right. Just getting by, everybody.